Hello there, today I'm here to do a very quick DVD and VHS update. Part 2 will have the VHS update. So let's go. First DVD I got was this movie, Last House on Dead End Street. This movie was brilliant. This was an excellent movie. May Man Oz tends to... He didn't like this movie. He, in fact, I think he hated it. But I thought it was brilliant. And um, it was like an art house type horror film. I loved it. Low budget. Grindhouse. Brilliant. And the DVD is a port of the American one. And the American one's out of print and expensive. My second DVD is this uh, box set I got off an eBay dealer for $3.20 and the dealer was not very happy how cheap I got it for. But never mind, this is a great box set. Um, I've been trying to get into El Modorava. No, let me pronounce that. El Modorava. Please pronounce my horrible spelling. I'm trying to get into his movies. Um, and Ozzy Rocha also has his box. This is a great set. I just got the set mainly for uh, Kika. And Kika is out of print in the US and really, really expensive. So, And you get this whole beautiful set. So $3.14 or something I got it for. Yeah, I'm not complaining. Next movie is Stage Fright. I love this movie. This movie was brilliant. This is from the director of um, Cemetery Man. Very artistic movie. Uh, camera work's brilliant. Uh, if you love Cemetery Man, I recommend this movie. This was excellent. Alright, next movie, I get a bit traumatized. It was Tromeo and Juliet. I have not seen this movie until recently, and it was top-notch. I loved it. I thought Tromeo and Juliet's one of Tromeo's actual better movies. Um, there is a two-disc American set, but I just couldn't be bothered. Just got the local Aussie one, which is a port of the first American DVD release. Uh, and more Tromeo stuff, I got Terra Firma. This movie is fucked with the capital F flight. But it's great. I mean, like, there is, you know, you got decapitations, incest... You got guts being ripped out, you got oh, hermaphrodites and all this shit. And the movie passed with an R, yet Pink Flamingo still can't pass in this country. This movie is ten times worse than Pink Flamingo's, believe me. First ten seconds, there's a woman gets a fetus ripped out of her stomach. So, you know, I don't get what's wrong with our rating board. But anyway, Terra Firma, highly, highly recommend this title. Alright, up next we got The Scarecrows. I got this from the US. Um, I thought this movie... I didn't really know what to expect. I thought, because I saw the trailer of it on a VHS, and I, an old VHS of mine, I thought, ah, oh, it's going to be crap. You know, exploitation crap, I don't know. I saw it, this was a very good... I thought it was going to be one of those cheesy uh, straight-to-VHS movies. It was a very good movie. It was... It, it was surprisingly... I couldn't believe how good it was. It was like... It was a bit of a mystery, The Scarecrows, but top-notch recommend it. Alright, trying to get through this quick. Alright, we've got From Beyond. This is another excellent movie. If you love Reanimator, I hi I can't believe I haven't seen this movie till last week. This is just as good as Reanimator. In fact, even better, I reckon. From Beyond was brilliant. It's, um, yeah, so get the MGM DVD. It's uncut. And, uh, boy, what just excellent movie. Just as good as Reanimator. Um, Halloween 2. This was a fucking. I didn't like this movie. It was a piece of shit. What was I thinking buying this? There wasn't a Blu-ray release in Australia. I had to get it because it never came out theaters in Australia. So I thought, oh, I have to see it, but <clears throat> fucking Rob Zombie. I got Twin Peaks Fire Walk With Me. Uh, having seen the TV series and falling in love with it and watching every episode, um, I, ha I had to get the prequel. And uh, this is a prequel. And I, I love the prequel. I thought it was great. People bag the shit out of this movie. I don't get why. Um, it tells Laura Palmer's story. And, uh, and yes, I, I, this is great. Uh, if I walk with me, any Twin Peaks fan will truly appreciate this. And I've just become the biggest Twin Peaks fanatic since I got that, that gold box set. Um, but yeah, I reckon, get the American, if you live in Australia, do not get the Aussie one. The Aussie one, I think, it's, I think it's for, it's not in its original aspect ratio. And also, there's, uh, missing the documentary. So anyway, um, yeah, if I walk with me. Excellent. Last movie on this DVD update is Luther the Geek. This is to be the oddest horror movie I've ever seen, but it was very original. Um, now, Laurie at Mad Papa Death, she showed this off on her uh, DVD... Oh, sorry for that. She showed off on her VHS and beta update. Um, but this this was such an original. I couldn't believe it. So, if you live in Australia, please get the DVD. It's... it's um, if you already have it on VHS like Laurie, uh, I wouldn't recommend upgrading. The DVD is basically a rip of the VHS, so the quality is not any better. Uh, mainly because all the source material has been lost, who knows. But Luther the Geek, I highly recommend this oddity and um, to anyone.
to Dan and Darren or anyone if you're interested in weird horror. So, as you can see, I got this little nice little Troma collection going here, and uh, yeah, I just I just love uh, these Troma DVDs. They're awesome.